yesterday I was able to get some help and get these windows in. Pretty freaking nice windows, these Harveys. Plumber was here also. This pipe sticking out is for the pressure test for the inspector. Obviously it's gonna go away when it's done. Uh, after we get that inspected, hopefully next Wednesday, it's gonna be perfect timing. Everything's gonna work out. We got our windows spray foamed. Nice and set, we'll just have to cut that stuff back to clean it up. Not a huge deal. Over here, I was gonna do the uh, toilet and then the vanity, but with the obstructions behind this in this utility room, gonna have to go the other way. We have an emaciating toilet with like a rear output, and the pipe is so close um, that he might be able to do it with gravity, but if not, everything's gonna be there to do the pump to get that out, but that'll be nice. What I have to do now is get the vent fan cut open out of this plate over here and then set up the vinyl siding vent thing. So let's get to that. All right, so super simple. I just put that vinyl flange right up to the siding under this vinyl. I traced it on. I drilled a pilot hole from the inside to know exactly where to put this thing. And then I used my multi-tool to cut that plate out and then popped it in there and simply button up the vinyl right around it. All right, just got that mounted up. Proud, uh, half inch for the drywall. You got it clamped here, clamped to a draft block, which is like a one-way vent. And then that block there is so that can attach because it's like a side mount. And then to the outside, that's it. We're gonna leave this open. Uh, our electrician is gonna do this in a couple days when he does everything else. And uh, we'll pack this thing back up in there. It'll be nice and tight. All right, so starting this siding, uh, as you can see here, it's a straight line from where that door was. So we're gonna cut some of this and stagger it back so it doesn't look crazy. Um, like I did here, I cut this one already. And we put a starter strip in down over here. The rest of it already has it. So then once I do that, we'll just get going. Make sure you don't pull these these uh, these siding strips or pieces too tight, uh, or else you could be off by like a half inch once you get up eight feet. Why would it not be? He's always there for you. If this video helped you guys out at all, would you please drop down below, hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel out as we grow. We provide videos every week all about DIY, homestead, you know the gist. Let me know down below what you didn't like, what you did like. Right here, I'm just installing an outlet block. That way, the electrician can add an outlet on this side of the house, as there was none before. There was just one on the rear of the house. This would be nice.
All right, guys, so I was recording that, um, and I got to a point where I had to connect, and the new siding, I don't think it's the same brand, but it's like an eighth of an inch shorter, so over five, six pieces, it was going short a little bit, so I took it out, and uh, you can see the bottom half is brand new, and then to the bottom of the windows up is the original, and that made the spacing uh, doable. I was able to squeeze it out. I guess you can tell a difference here, but like in person, it's really not that different. This is the side of the house, and uh, I think it looks pretty good. Better than OSB. So this is all tied in now. This existing um, vinyl, I think, went one above the window, and or two above the window. Uh, under the window is new, and then the rest is existing. So it just needs to be cleaned. It's a little bit dirty from sitting on the ground. Um, but what I did, there was no existing starter strip here. So to give myself a guide from the last existing piece that we had on, I just measured eight inches down, all the way down, and got our starting point. I put the starter strip on down there uh, and went two rows up, and then I just noticed it wasn't quite lining up with where my line was. It wasn't matching with the other side as it is now. Um, so I had to take those two off, take the starter strip off, and reposition it. Uh, but yeah, overall it looks pretty darn good came out nice there's one little spot where it was like super close and we just did a uh, finish trim right there under the window I think it looks pretty uh, natural with the window so uh, pretty happy with that it's all closed in it's pretty darn sweet guys I was wrong. 